Six o'clock. Race day. Today, we're running the 50th anniversary New York City Marathon. We have raised over $10,000 for the American Cancer Society with the help of you, our YouTube family. But that isn't the only thing we're celebrating today. So make sure you stay to the very end because trust me, you do not want to miss this ending. I'm so excited. We're going to the ferry. Across the Verrazano Bridge from Staten Island into Brooklyn. Started. How are you feeling so far, Tina? I'm ready to crush this thing. Yeah? Ooh, feeling good. Yeah. Thank you to the boys in Lime Green. Right. Right. Yeah. What are you checking? How you feeling? Feeling good. Yeah? Going smooth. Crushing this bridge. I guess catching Tina at the beginning of this thing is going to be a thing. First time marathon of problems. As promised, mile we're, doing, one. we're doing some dedications throughout this race. Just kidding. Mile number two. Mile number two. Okay, so we may have missed the first one. This first note is from Celia and Morton. And the smile is dedicated to Joanne Stokes, Celia's mom. And she writes, feel support of all those you've inspired with your courage to be real, your generous advice, your sense of humor, and your infectious spirit. Run like the wind. You've got this. You guys are the best. We love y'all. There we go. Hola! Hola! <laughs> How you feeling so far? Fantastic. Nice. But if we wouldn't be feeling fantastic right now, that means we didn't try. Yes, Thankfully, that is not this marathon. If you'd like to see me that miserable, Ooh. we'll put a link right here. We're only like a little over two miles in, and this is already the best marathon I've ever done. For so many reasons. Best marathon ever! That is amazing. Three mile mark. Well, I'm gonna take that, thank you! Mile three is officially in honor of Death Slap's mom, Stacy Slap, who passed away on 6 14 17. Thoughts and prayers for Stacy Slap from her lovely husband of 59 years, Joe, and his four sons, Joe, Jeff. Kevin and Jim. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Thank you so much for sponsoring this mile, Jeff. You're awesome. Mile number four, dedicated to Justin Shirley's grandfather, his papa. So, and also his friend, Trey's mom, Angelina, who's bat battling lung cancer. You have so got this, Angelina. Pain or beer? And <laughs> there are a lot of people going towards the beer. Okay, we just made it to mile five, and this one comes from my aunt, Susie Kendrick, in honor of her sister, Barbara, my aunt, who passed away from colon cancer. I'm also a colon cancer survivor. My brother Dickie and her mom, also my grandmother. She has a friend battling cancer right now. Dora, Dora smiles for you. You can do it. And last but not least, she says, cancer, be positive. You all can fight and be strong. I will have you all in my prayers. Yeah. We love you, Aunt Susie. 
Like you said, cancer. Dora, you got this. He says, I hope that you're getting to open this towards the end of your race. Good luck to you both. All right, mile six. I mean, that's kind of close to the end of the race, Scott. It would technically be the end of a 10K. So, that's a I mean, that's a win. We've got 32K to go. You've got this. Bend it. A little pro tip there. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's get it going. Hair compliments. Super awesome. Got a few of those today. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay. We're mile seven, which means oh, this this one comes from our friends Mike and Debbie, and it says, we're not telling you running a marathon is going to be easy. We're telling you it's going to be worth it. You're running for those who can't. Now go cross that finish line. You've got this. Yay! We love you, Mike and Debbie. Honestly, the energy here is electric. You can feel it and it motivates you to put your best effort forth. Because people here everywhere are cheering for you. It feels amazing. We're about to run through an epic part of the city. There's so many people outside. Water, proper hydration. How are you feeling? Amazing. But hydration is super important. Hydrate early. Hydrate often. Mitchell Nault, who wrote, live your life to the fullest and be happy. I was tempted to ask you to talk about poop or <laughs> Dee's mullet. <laughs> that seems appropriate. Right. I mean, this is your perfect opportunity to talk about this. This beautiful Maine. Mr. Nault. <laughs> Thank you for supporting us on this journey. so good we're still running staying hydrated and 10 miles means it's time for our next shout out this one comes from Pete and Julie Sangress and we're running this mile in honor of Grandpa Tex Wilkins and he's got a brother George is currently battling cancer keep going Make this mile your best mile, and thank you for raising money to continue the search for a cure. We wouldn't have it any other way. 
and we appreciate your support. And we're running this mile for you. Just ran into our friend Ben once again. Probably about 10, 11. So around there, crushing it. Making our way to another hydration station at mile 11. Okay. Thank you. Going downhill, which means it's time to catch our five hour and 30 minute pace. Oh, you feeling it? You feeling good? Yeah. Oh, jump dial it up a little bit. Oh, girl's getting on it. She's getting on it. She wants that next pacer grip. We're wondering where Tina is at this point. We're at mile like, I don't know, 11-ish, 12-ish. And she is on fire. She's in fuego. Tearing up the course. I think she's up there with the Kenyans. First place. Is from selected at random. Tracy and Kelly, cancer sucks. They're 100% right. Thank you, Daniel and Lauren, for your inspiration. Tracy and Kelly, thank you for sponsoring mile number 12. Y'all are helping us raise money so the cancer won't always suck. All right. About to hit our second bridge of the day. The second of five. We're at 13.1. Everybody's walking the hills. That makes it very easy because you can sit. Halfway to finish pace, you are halfway there. Looking good, looking hard. Alrighty then, 5.30's in the house. We're officially what? at mile 13, but y'all have got to see this view. That is a really cool picture. Now let's catch up to Lauren. And we're back with Lauren. All right, so mile 13 as we headed to the Bronx is sponsored by my very own mom and dad, oh. Chris and Renee Davenport. This mile is in honor of my grandfather, Charles Sullivan, who used to call me Silly Goose when I was little, but died of brain cancer when I was really young. We miss him very much. Kick this butt's disease. Kick the, kick the disease's butt? Oh yeah. Let's disease's kick butt. the disease's butt. We can just start with kicking lots of butts. Like starting with this butt we're about to kick right here at mile 13.1. Thanks mom and dad for donating. Love you. I smell pizza. I think we should stop and get some pizza. That'd be amazing. We're in the Queensboro and Crushing it. Thank you, man. How you feeling? Good. We're almost done, right? No. But we're getting there. Another bridge. A lot of people are on the struggle bus. Which is understandable. It's a hill. It's late in the race. It's claiming a lot of souls right now. About to cross the 25k mark. We got a little bit of a walk break in up that hill, which is nice. I'm just proud of how much of this I'm running. Okay, cardinal rule broken. I'm stopping and stretching. But it feels really good. Okay, we just made it to mile 16. Mask getting a little fuzzy right now. I don't know if we're rubbing at 15 or not, but we'll make it up. Mile 16. Is dedicated to Tammy and Janet in honor of Tammy's dad 
and brother. And to their friend Jennifer, who's currently battling cancer. You got this, Jennifer. Your message is, we are so proud of you both, not just for running the marathon, but for how you live your life. Thank you for living your life, serving others. We love you guys. That was good. Thank you for that message. That means a lot. It means the world to us. The smile is for all of you. on that sign right there. She's going to use a power up. She's a power boost. Woo, get some of that power boost. Woo, that's what I'm talking about. Yes. Give me some chin cam up in the section with all the tall buildings. Chin cam. Getting creative on my videography skills right now. Probably because I'm deliriously tired, but that's okay. Let me switch into booty cam. Here we go. Whoa, whoa. Some of my best footage here. Solid. Go, Lauren! You can do it! We are clocking in. We're there. At mile, I don't know. Something. 18? 19? Well, our friend Ben. Hello again. Any sign of Tina yet? No. No? Oh, man. She is smoking this course. Yeah. Woo! Definitely PR for her, but it is also PR for you because this is your first time. Feeling like we're really gonna have to work on our zigzag techniques because according to my watch, we just hit 20 and we're not at 20 on the course. A lot of runners needs a lot of cups. Check this out. A lot of cups, right? We just made it to mile 19, sponsored by Ben Cohen, my friend Ben. Ben, this mile is in honor of your dad, Lee Cohen. And we're running this mile here for your friend, David Blaze, who's currently battling cancer. And your note to us says, if you have an Airstream or want to learn about them, join the Airstream Classic Series owners Facebook group and perform a random act of kindness every day. Good tip, Ben. We're also in that group. Good group to join on Facebook. We love our Airstream Classic group. Great news. We're approaching mile 20, and we've got another bridge. Heck yeah. Woo! We love bridges. Right? Yeah. Love bridges? Okay, in all seriousness, hills at the end of a race are brutal on legs that are pretty much at this point already fried. So, yeah, struggle bus. But Lauren is crushing it. These are so gross. But apparently they're doing their job. This is how Daniel would really run if he wasn't running with me. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Mile 20, and uh, time for another card. Time for another card. And I'll be honest with you, I've run 10 of these at 20 plus. It hurts, doesn't matter how many of these you run. Our next card is from Gloria Orsinger, and mile 20 is in honor of her husband, Ward Orsinger. She says, Thank you, Ellen D. I survived cancer. My husband did not. Oh, man. <laughs> so, my appreciation and thank you. Oh. Daniel and I am so grateful I survived this horrible disease. Your videos are awesome and informative. Keep them coming. I hope to start my Airstream adventure next year. Hope to meet you sometime in this beautiful country of ours. Much love and prayers. Gloria, we love you and we're sending you all the love. Thank you for sponsoring mile number 20 and we're so glad you survived too. There's Ben! You thought you were gonna get away from me, buddy, but you didn't. Almost done. Home stretch. Everything hurts. Everything hurts. Roll the pain. You got this. We can do it. We can do it. Come on, Lauren, you got this. Hey, only one more barrel left. <laughs> this is the last damn bridge. Mile 21 is dedicated to Ed and Sue. And this mile is in honor of their mom, Mary Alvey. Your message to us is keep up the good work, you guys. Love all, let's all, my brain, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. This is just raw and unfiltered. Let's all fight to find a cure for cancer. Keep running. You have the faith, you two. We. I, I literally can't reach right now. I'm so tired. <laughs> I salute with, we're doing this for you. It's not easy. But that's why we're doing it, because this is important to us. Ed and Sue means the world to us. You support us on this journey. And together we can fight for a cure for cancer. You're awesome. Thank you. Oh, oh. Look at that bullet. Look at that bullet, baby. Look at that bullet. Look at that bullet. Five forty five, the best group. Mile twenty two is sponsored by Kim, Laura, and Morel, who are all cancer survivors. Go freaking y'all. And this mile is in honor of Carol and Helen. They say, God bless you, Lauren and Daniel. Thank you from a fellow survivor. No. Thank you guys, because that is the reason we are still running at mile 22. You. Check out that sunset, running! Keep going! We have just been treated with the most beautiful sunset. It is breathtaking. And it's that much more magical after 20 miles. No, after 22. After 22 miles. Cognitive abilities are draining. Yeah. Draining. 22. 22 miles. Yeah. This is what happens. You get to the later miles and your brain just gets all lucky. Math becomes hard. A lot of pain. Why do we do this again? Oh, we do this for you. Bring all of you along on this amazing journey.
you feeling? I like perks. I mean, that's the point of this thing, right? Yeah. Get a little dark, get a little dark, we're losing some sunlight. But we can be wearing a phone. We're about to cross mile two three. Apologize for the both of us. Our math is a little off tonight. Tonight, today, tonight. We've been out here a long time. This one is some Bonnie and Brendan on YouTube. They have a YouTube channel. Check them out, Bonnie and Brendan. They're awesome. They are awesome. They're also traveling in an RV. It says, in all seriousness, we are really happy to support the Wander Local cause. Good luck with the marathon. Thank you, Bonnie and Brendan. We appreciate you. Uh, in typical fashion, I forgot to flip over the card. So the rest of the card reads, apologize, it's a little dark. It says, in honor of Brendan's grandmother, who died at the age of 58. Let's go, let's go, let's go, water, water. And it says, Bonnie and Brendan. <laughs> Let me preface this with the fact that we said that anybody could say anything and we would not read it until this very moment. They said, Bonnie and Brendan are the best RV YouTube couple ever. We are not reading anything right now. This is just what we believe. Everyone should subscribe to Bonnie and Brendan. <laughs> we love um, it and we cannot agree more. We'll put the link for their channel here. Love you both. And we just realized we have a lot more than like three. So we're gonna double down with a mile 23.5 shout out coming to you. This oh. one is a 23.5 shout out. And this one you have to read. This one is from the Fernandez family, my family, um, in in honor of my aunt, uh, who, ah. This, oh, I can't even read it. This one is in honor of my aunt who passed away last year from lung cancer. I miss her so much. I can't even read it either. This 0.5 mile is in honor of Bunny. I'm TT and Irma, Grandma. They say, best of luck in the New York City Marathon. Love mom and dad. And your brother says, cut your dumb hair. It looks stupid. <laughs> I agree, Michael. <laughs> His legs are feeling good. I mean, not really, that's total luck, but we're very close to the end. That's right. And, and that's we're, the point. We're very fortunate to be able to do this. Heck for right? Yeah. There's so many people that wish they could be here, right? Absolutely. Exactly. Close, cut all the corners. Let's get there faster. <laughs> so far, so good. We're crossing mile 24. And this mile is sponsored by Randy and Diane from Zephyr Travels, who also have an Airstream and an awesome YouTube channel. We'll link here again. You got to check them out. But this mile is in honor of Randy's sister, Jan Hill. And they said, today we are both rooting for you. Team Lauren and Team Dean. May your wonder local journey today of 26 miles have an amazing impact on the race to stop cancer. Thank you so much, Randy and Diane. We appreciate y'all. 24. 24.5, we're so close. And this half mile is sponsored by Troy Morgan. Yes. And Troy is putting this half mile in honor of Ray Morgan. And he says, keep the good fight going. Troy, that's the game plan. I got a princess crown. Yes. People are handing out glow sticks. And that is, oh, oh, now you have two. Oh. <laughs> that is awesome. You earned it, honey. I get two. That's right. Okay, you do. They're not going to give me two medals. That's right. One for you and one for somebody else. 
we are near the finish line. We are at 20. We're getting, I don't know. We're, we we're, don't even know, but we're really close. We're really close. Yeah. And we just heard from Tina because she crushed this like really hardcore and finished it like 515. So Tina's card says, this is in honor of Uncle Bill, Granddaddy, Granny, and Nana. And right now, her cousin Shane is battling cancer and her cousin Chelsea has beat cancer. She says, I'm so thankful to be running <laughs> likely behind you, which was not the case. Um, you two are truly inspiring humans and I love you guys. We love you too, Tina. We can't wait to celebrate with you soon. We can taste that sweet, sweet victory. It is so close and Oh, it's a good thing because it's getting a little chilly out here. Oh, uh, that's the reason why it's a good thing. You're a great person. <laughs> it's a good thing for a lot of reasons. It's a good thing because, well, I don't know. My brain's not working right now. I was going to think of something clever to say, but I got nothing right now. <laughs> okay. All right. So, mile 25 has been sponsored by Paul Castles. And he says, this is in honor of his mother. Eloise Castles, and he says, run forest, Daniel, run. <laughs> Thank you so much for supporting us, Paul. This means the world, and this one is for your mom. And Paul, I'm gonna run. Run forest, run, woo! Oh, that was for you, Paul. I'm running, buddy. You're so close to finish. And of course, this is the part where it gets, I don't know, a little emotional maybe. It's a very special race. And we're about to tell everybody. We don't know yet, so. <laughs> well, I mean, oh. let's be real. If we're gonna finish this thing, I think we might need a new challenge. I think so. I feel like we've tackled a lot of big challenges, but we need something bigger. We got bigger than what we've already done. But I think we have to finish this first. Okay. So, it's about to get really loud up in here. So we have to go ahead and dedicate the tiny bit of mile 26 to... Teresa Mish, our very dear friend who we had the pleasure of meeting at the Airstream International Rally, and she is just a sweetheart. Actually, we met her at both rallies. We met her at two Airstream rallies. And she is dedicating this race and this mile to Lillian Colby, partner's mother. Lillian, this is for you. Shout out also goes to Terry Brown and Susan Rostakowicz, and they, who are both battling cancer right now. And Teresa says, you are the most courageous, thoughtful, and bubbly couple I have ever met. I love watching and living your lives through the videos you make. Run these next mile virtually for me. P.S. Oh. I'm glad I have a partner who will always empty the poop tank for me. Oh, that's, oh. A that's important. Uh, Therese, we're gonna cross this finish line for you and for everybody else who supported us on this journey. Thank you so much. This is for you. Alright, let's finish you know this next? thing. Let's do this. Run, Laura, make us proud! Yeah.
Valentina, you are a marathoner. I did it! Woo! How you feeling? I feel like I can't sit down or I would never be able to get back up. But I'm feeling good. Was it everything you thought it was or were there any surprises? Everything in this song. It was awesome. So this is the certified best position to sit after a marathon. In case you saw the last one. I love this. It feels so good. This is the 50th anniversary of the New York Marathon. And with that comes this awesome medal! Sweet, uh, sweet victory! And if you're asking, yes, I did win the race. Time to Well, now that we got the jacket and the medals, what's next? Maybe we sell the airstream? Travel internationally again? Maybe. Or, I don't know. I've been really thinking hard about a puppy. I mean, the snow dogs were, gosh, adorable. Cure Memphis, we can always get a puppy. Better than a puppy? Better than a puppy. Ooh. How about a new wonder? Cheers to that. Yeah, let's do this. Don't worry, it's a virgin.